Don Tardy from Obituary. So you have a new tour coming up, the uh, Carnival of Death Tour. Is there anything uh, special to look forward to in the set list? Well, absolutely. That's the, you know that's the reason why we are so excited about this um, this tour coming up because uh, you know like most bands, you get um, after year after year, you, you get as a band, you start playing the same songs again and again each year, all the hits, the ones you know people want. And um, Obituary was, was that way also. And um, this this tour, we, um, we we went to the Internet and we actually asked our fans through Facebook and Twitter to to, uh, to give us their opinions. And um, through that process, we, we realized that a lot of people would have, um, obviously, a, a, you can never please everybody, but um, everybody had a great idea that um, – the first three albums are now 20 years old, so we are gonna we're gonna perform those three albums, just songs off of the only only the first three albums, and so for the Carnival of Death, it's gonna be a classic set list for Obituary. So that's pretty fucking cool. Out of all those songs that you that you guys are gonna play, what was the hardest one to remember how to play? Man, uh, good question. Um, some of them, some of the really hard ones, not hard. Obituary aren't, songs aren't hard, but. Some of the you know some of the more intricate ones um, are ones that we have never played on stage, or if we did, it was literally in the '80s when we were still just teenagers or 20 year olds. So, you know, just thinking about what was hard ones is um, I don't know like um, body bag um, was was tough. Um, I'm in pain. We're trying to go for, and that thing is a monster off of the incomplete and uh. I, I have to say, man, even though they're they're 20 years and older, these songs still hold up to the, the test of time. They're still very cool songs, and they're still, I don't know, man, they're still really good lives, so we're excited about this. So you've had a couple of years working with uh, Terry Butler. How is the dynamic between you and him and the overall dynamic with the band? Uh, it's you know, it's going really well, man. Butler is Butler is a true professional. He's a really old friend of ours. We, you know, Trevor literally went to school. His first few years of junior high was in the same classrooms as Butler's sister. So, we've known each other for over 20 years and and, and have been around each other. Um, now that he's a part of the group, it's just it is the part. You know, it is the link of the chain that made it even bigger and stronger. And Butler is just. He could not be the nice, a nicer guy, and he's a super professional, and that really does cater to what we believe in as uh, as the, uh, the other three of us. You guys are uh, currently doing it as a four piece. Is this a permanent switch, or just you just doing this for now until you find the right person again? Yeah, you know, we, we we've been we've been together now for uh, you know twenty six years, and there's no reason to rush anything. Uh, the important thing is, is we're having a blast doing what we're doing. And as a four piece, it's very organized. Uh, it's, it's easy. All the band members are super responsible and, uh, it, it really is easy. You know, obviously down the line, um, there are thoughts in our mind. We're not going to talk about it now, but we, we definitely are enjoying ourselves as a four piece. And, uh, we will, we will, you know, we will work on the future in the future, but for now, for this tour coming up, we're definitely running as a four-piece. You guys are working on a new EP or anything at the moment? Sure, we're working on the new album. We have songs already um, written for the new album. Uh, we had to push those aside for a little bit now, um, trying to prepare for this classic set list. And uh, we're going we're gonna to take this, uh, this classic set to uh, Europe also in December. So for right now, the, the songs that we have for the album, um, we will... We will talk to, uh, um, to our fans uh, about what they would want from us. And uh, I tell you, it's pretty exciting because we are definitely working on a new record. And, uh, and we will probably put out some kind of little sample or some kind of awesome two, two or three song sampler to really give people a taste of what the new album is going to be like. And to obviously make everybody happy because it has been a quite a few years. And uh, we know we're busy till the end of this year. So... Come next year, we're going to definitely throw something out there that people are going to get a little taste of what's going on in the future. Your last record was released with uh, Candlelight Records. Uh, are you going to release the next one with them, or is it going to be an independent release? Are you guys still searching, or is it too soon to worry about that? Actually, uh, Candlelight had three of our albums. The last two Tardy Bro uh, the last two Obituary and the Tardy Brothers album we gave to Candlelight. Um, uh, we will definitely not be with them anymore. We will 
um, we will move on to um, brighter pastures, and uh, and we're very very um, looking forward to uh, a new relationship with the new record label when the time comes. Speaking of Tardy Brothers, um, you you pretty much did all the music on that album. <laughs> yeah, I did everything, man. Only because we own the studio now, so when I'm there by myself, I have nothing better to do but just jam and guitar is my passion right now you know drums are my life but guitar is a guitar in my hand it's more exciting than anything right now so yeah i wrote all those songs and i performed all the guitars on it and then i had friends put solos on it and of course my brother um threw down the vocals so uh it was just it you know whether it's the greatest album in the world or the worst the fact of the matter is there's nothing more fun and to be in the studio creating a song and putting it down onto a CD where people around the world can hear it. And um, I'm very proud of that record. I think the sound of it is just phenomenal. And uh, the songwriting is very straightforward metal with some killer solos. So I, I love that album. Is there like a big difference when you're, when you're writing music for like Tardy Brothers or Obituary? Or is it just two different mindsets that you focus on? Yeah, well, it's two different worlds. You know, Obituary's been doing it so long, we have it down to a science. It's very simple. It's as about as basic as you can get. Trevor and I get in a room together. We literally just come up with what we think would be cool um, and what we like playing. That's how we've always done it. We don't base ourselves around, oh, I got a cool idea for a song and take that home and think about it a little bit and then bring it back to me tomorrow and tell me what you think. We just go for it. We get in the garage and we just go for it and we start writing. When we get riffs that we like, we remember them, and we move on. With Tardy Brothers, it was more of a calculated thing. I knew what I wanted. I had been playing guitar for 20 years, and I knew I had a lot of ideas throughout those 10, 15 years of really writing on guitar that I knew I had um, all those songs waiting to be recording. Uh, I just never had the money in the, in the past to uh, get into a studio, and now we have the studio, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite the luxury, I have to say. With the new crop of bands out there now, like Obituary still has a purpose out there? Well, you know, you're never going to get away from a million bands being on this planet. Um, I love that idea. I love the idea that there's young people out there that get influenced by uh, music, whether it's country or metal, and they go for it. They get themselves an instrument and a band together, and they try and write. I think that's awesome. Uh, I don't think what is very smart is that record labels – um, at one point in the you know early 2000s, we're really just putting a list of bands on their record label just to see who has his, more bands on their record label. And um, Obituary is very lucky, man. We're, we don't worry about what other people are doing or what they have done or what's coming up in the future. We simply just write music the way we do it. We have a blast doing it. We only do it for ourselves because if we like it, our fans are going to like it, and we always keep that philosophy. So... Absolutely, I think Obituary's got an even a bigger part on on, a, on the music scene in this world right now, and um, we take that very serious, and, and we're very, very honored to be where we are in the food chain of, of metal music. <laughs> cool. Like, 25 years you guys have been around. Does, <laughs> does it feel like it to you, or do you still feel like, like it's, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, you know, it does feel like 25 years, because... Uh, you know, we we have been doing this for more than half our lives, and it's it's just weird to think that I was interested in drums at seven years old, and by the time I was 12, I was already literally fantasizing of how I can write, li you know, listening to the stuff that my oldest brother turned me on to, like, you know, like the old stuff that was here in the in, in the 70s in, uh, in Florida that I was influenced by, Leonard Skinner and some Southern rock like Charlie Daniels and Outlaws. And it was still rock to me, though, and Ted Nugent. And then I heard, like, you know, and, of course, like, even even older, like, Queen, where I just, as a 12-year-old, I was just fascinated by the drums and songwriting in general. So by the time I was 14 years old, we were already writing our own songs. So it's funny that it's been this long, and we're still, we're still having a blast doing it, and we're still learning every day when it comes to writing and, and, uh, and, and becoming a, a better band. I guess you think that... The break you guys had a couple of years ago, uh, from ninety, from like, from around ninety, like ninety eight to, oh four. Do you think that break helped recharge batteries and everything? Oh, it did. It did. And now that's that was nine years ago. It's it's crazy that it was you know eight going on nine years that 
we've now been together again. And what a career to know that, you know, you could take a break, but still a decade into the second run, it's more fun than it's ever been. It's more organized than it's ever been. The songs are just, they, they, they are coming out of a, just a, a, with, a, with excitement we've never heard. And, uh, and to know that we're still having a blast being around each other as a band and, and performing, that's, uh, that is the, you know, mo- most bands don't last a decade and here we are on our second decade, um, and working on our third one now. So it, it's, it's pretty amazing. How did you get involved in the whole Andrew WK thing during the Andrew, break? Andrew, called, Andrew wrote me a letter when he was uh, 19 years old, and uh, that was probably 19, uh, it was probably year 2000, I think. And um, he just said, Obituary is one of my favorite bands, you're one of my favorite drummers, and uh, that was it. I just, I met him, we became great friends, I helped him do the first album, and I toured with him for three years and did 500 shows around the world. Is touring uh, similar in general, or with those two bands, were they kind of like like drastically different? Uh, you, you know, it was it, obituary wasn't doing anything at the time. So when I heard Andrew's music, I knew it was a complete opposite of what I've always done, and that's what the challenge was. That's that's why I did it because I knew it was going to be a different world. Obituary is death metal. We don't play to click track. We just go for it on stage. Andrew was a very calculated. I played to a click. I had in ears. We ran to a sampler and multi-tracked on stage. So it was very fun. It was very, uh, very challenging to play to a click in front of, you know, I was playing, we opened, you know, I mean, I was opening for Aerosmith and having to learn how to play to a click track and making sure I didn't mess up and get off time. And uh, that was a, that was definitely a fun, humbling experience. So do you recommend a click track or not at all? <laughs> I love, I love the idea of a click track. Drum, drum, every drummer on the planet should practice with a click. There's no question. Even if you're by yourself, just playing to a cowbell at a certain tempo is so important. I might include this too. Like, what's your practice routine like nowadays, or is it non-existent really? Uh, you know, nowadays it, we we stay so busy that it really is just you know I don't know how many shows we did last year and how many plane rides, but it was ridiculous. Um, but when I'm home, I, I do practice all the time. I, I'm over there every day that I possibly can be. And um, nowadays, I don't, I don't wor- worry about or work on rudiments or my style because I am what I am. I'm not, the, I'm not the greatest drummer, but I do have fun doing what I do, and I'm pretty good at um, playing obituary stuff. So when I'm home, I jam to stuff, man. I put on, like, the Holy Diver album and just go for it and play the whole thing and just play stuff that I really like, like, you know, old metal stuff. Uh, what kind of gear are we using nowadays? Uh, the same gear we've used for 20 years, man. <laughs> I am a very proud Yamaha endorsed drummer. I bought my first Yamaha drum set in 1988, and I've never played anything else. Trevor Trevor has the same rig he's been using since he was uh, starting Slowly Rot, which is a Marshall stack, his Fender guitar, and a Rat pedal. Uh, it, things have not changed. That's it. I think that might be my last question. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I think hey, that just, might have been a little yeah. bit longer. <laughs> Just, right. just let everybody know, you know, Obituary is a, a part of a website right now called unation.com. It's coming in a month or so, and uh, we're really excited for people to check it out and give us their replies and their responses on how cool they think this website is. So uh, just be ready. Another uh, month or two, it's going to be released. And uh, just let everyone know that we're, we're, we're very eager to hear their Facebook comments on our new website. All right. So basically, Obituary CC is going to be uh, converted to this new site? No, it's just like if, if the same reason why everybody has a Facebook page, even though they have their own websites, uh, this is just a new social platform that is like Facebook meets MySpace, uh, and it's pretty incredible, and we're a part of it, and uh, hopefully in the future, every band on the planet is going to be a, want to be a part of it.